hey everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to learn how you can use zoom uh, which is a video conference uh, software in which uh, in this video I'll be telling you for beginners how you can host a meeting and how you can be uh, joining a meeting in zoom so it's a very uh, easy very simple video uh, after watching this video you will be able to make your own meetings and will ask person to join and i'll tell you how you can join let other people join and how you can control each feature of the zoom so this video is for you so what you have to do first uh, go to zoom write zoom in google and go to zoom.us in here you can see an option called sign up it's free click on sign up when you click on sign up you have to write your uh, date of birth and in here click continue all right in order to sign up you have to write down the email address you want to sign up for with and click on sign up all right as you sign up you will receive a verification email to your gmail so all you have to do go back to your gmail account as you can see i have received a gmail verification code from zoom all i have to do is click on this button called activate account click on it as you have clicked on activate your account you will be red redirected to this page all you have to do answer these questions they're asking for behalf of school i'll be saying no whatever your reason could be continue and now we are able to write down the details so for example i go with the name tags and click on continue all right in here in here i have the option to uh call my friends if I want to invite them I can skip this step so I'll click on skip this step all right so we are done with making an account so I can either click on this starting meeting but all you have to do uh, you are signed in so what I what you are going to do click go to this option called host a meeting so first we are going to learn how you can host a meeting then we'll be going to joining a meeting so you can see an option called host a meeting click on see it and if you want to host with a video off or with video on or you can either make a with screen share only so we are for the sake of this video we're going to make uh, with the video on but i'll be hiding my face i'll be putting a black paper on it but the camera will be on so you can see it how it looks like if i click on with video on as you can see the option of downloading the zoom i already have downloaded zoom in my uh, macbook if you are using any uh, any laptop or any computer you can download the zoom app in there and you can put the name and password or login password in there and you can easily access uh, how you can use uh, how you can use zoom so i'll click on allow so i have already downloaded zoom so i'll directly go to zoom and i'll tell you how you can use it so this is how zoom uh, application looks like so in here when you get in here you will be uh, we will be given two options either join a meeting or sign in so i'll be signing in I have an email I'll write down my email and password which I've just created and I'll click on log sign in so as you clicked on sign in in this zoom app you have got four options there's a new meeting either you can join a meeting or you can either schedule a meeting and share a screen first we'll go to a new meeting so we'll go uh, we will have checked the mark with the start of video with video because we'll be uh, using our video so I'll go on click it on uh, new meeting and we are connecting all right so uh, we are already in and uh, we're using the zoom meeting so you can see in this zoom meeting my camera is on but I'm hiding I'm putting some object on in front of my camera so you won't be able to see my face I'm sorry for that uh, in here you can see I will be explaining each and everything uh, in this these options so you can see now I'm hosting a video conference so you can do it as well like this by just signing by just sign up and signing in here and putting the details and you are boom now I'm uh, hosting a meeting I can enter full screen like this and click on it this is a full screen I can exit the full screen and in here you can see an option called mute I can either mute my voice this is for my voice so I am now mute and you know, you know my audience whoever my students whoever is listening to me won't be able to listen to me so I can change the option to whatever I want I can uh, there are microphone options you know you can add another microphone if you want to add on because sometimes the 
okay laptop microphone does not work well so this is a mute option the second one is the stop video you will you will be able to stop the video that it has been playing like your face so uh, before my camera was running now my camera is stopped so you can now only see the Thai schooling name on it so I'll again resume the video all right <clears throat> and now we come to the participant so in here you can you will be able to see who is participating in your zoom conference so in here i'm just the only one guy who is uh, um, hosting this one you can see tyke schooling host me so you can see an option call this is me alone uh this is this is the only me uh, participating i can either i can either ask people to join uh you know how i can invite them by just going and clicking this option called invite I'll be able to just click on it called in white and in here you can see an option called copy URL or copy invitation so what I do usually I copy the URL and send them through whatsapp or through email whatever I want or I can either send email uh, directly to the people to the students who I want them to join so I can either click this one or I can copy the URL and send them so in both cases you'll be able to invite your students to participate in your uh, what i call the lecture so the second option is clear now we go to chat so in here you will be able to chat with your audience who are just listening to you and this one you can see you can either mute all of your audience like when you're speaking you know you don't want anybody to you know hurdle you no but you don't want anybody to disturb you while talking so you can mute all of them you can unmute them and there are other options you can as well allow them you know uh, the best would the best way would be uh, taking these options I will also take this one mute participants on entry you know somebody uh, sometime uh, you know join the group and their microphone is not set up so there's a lot of noise coming so uh, you have to check this one as well so avoid people uh, you know talking when they are entering so they don't know what's going on so uh, in here you can see in chat down here you will be able to chat with everyone whoever is listening to you uh, you can send files in here uh, as you are hosting you can select or change the options you can you know if you want to chat with everyone publicly you can uh, do it as well this option so everyone everyone in the group would be able to you know only be able to chat publicly if you uh, click on everyone publicly and privately that way everyone can chat publicly and privately privately if they want so these are free options or uh, you can either choose host only that way you will be only you are only uh, the person who is going to chat or send files or text so this is uh, how you can uh, chat in the group and now we have share screen so we ensure when you click on share screen you can share other screens like uh, while talking you are you, you just you just don't want to show your face uh, if you want to use a whiteboard you can use a whiteboard you can share other screens other pictures if you have whatever like these are options i can share with so if i'm uh, the most teachers use whiteboard so i click on whiteboard and share it so in whiteboard i can write whatever i want like this drawing uh, i don't know what you call it this drawing uh, is a so-called drawing and there are a few better options you can save them you can erase spotlight stamp there are a lot of options you can use all right so this is how you can share it and now you can either uh you know click on this one this option called stop share uh will you that way you'll be able to stop sharing this whiteboard so i clicked on it and we are out of it now we'll be able to you can also be able to you know uh, record screen record your lecture so for recording your own lecture you can uh, click on this button called record and that way my this lecture is being recorded if i want to upload it uh, or send it uh, to other students that are not joining for their uh, for their if, if they have missed the class they don't want to miss uh, miss the lecture so i can record it and i can send them later if i want or i just want to stop recording so whatever i want this is the option for that uh, this is a reaction uh, you just teeny tiny you know thumbs up everything is going good uh, clap good job everybody so this is uh, something like uh, anybody would like to do you know a happy ending thing all right so we are done with uh, how you can host a meeting and now we'll move to how you can uh, in the end if you want to end it you can click on this end meeting or you can even click this one which will give you options so i'll click on end meeting that way i'll be uh, i can leave a meeting if i want but I, i'm hosting the meeting so i'll a better end meeting for all if there are participants so i'll end meeting for all and I, as i have uh, recorded a video so that's why there is a recorded zoom video a little bit video i have recorded that's why there's a 
this file has been uh, you know uh, in my computer so now if, we, if I want to join a meeting in order to join a meeting someone else is hosting so you have to click this option it's called join a meeting and in here you have to write the meeting ID they will give you uh, if they are hosting or you can they can give you a personal link name whatever they are or if, if they give you a link you will be just clicking that link and you won't have to go through this process you will directly go and you will be able to join meeting you won't be needing to click just join a meeting if joining meeting is for those people who have password and id but people who don't have password and id they will be given a link and they can click a link and boom they are inside it so that's it for today's video hope this video helped you and one thing more if you want to upgrade like let me tell you how much you can use of it how much you zoom or how much space you can use through zoom all right let me show you this one so if we go back to zoom all right and there is one thing more important in plans and pricing you must know about it you know while conducting or you know making a, a lecture uh, so in free uh, basic uh, or personal meeting in this option you are only able to per uh, allow 100 uh, students or 100 people to participate in lecture and there will be only 40 minutes limit on group meetings there will be only 40 minutes lecture going on and there are unlimited number of meetings you can do a lot of meeting if you want and in premium you can see you can your meeting duration could be 24 hours uh, there are you know hundred uh, there could be uh, you know hundred participants but if you go further there you can see with different plans there are 500 participants and even you know uh, thousand participants so it depends on uh, which plan you want so if you think this uh, video or these plans help you so uh, choose them so if you think this video helped you uh, to uh, make or start a new zoom ID or zoom uh, host or how you learn something that how to host a meeting so please make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment that way we'll be able to create more for you and keep visiting Tides schooling